Hi everyone, today we're going on an adventure. This is an adventure that you have planned. It is of course Pisces by Ginger. I again have never heard this band before. I've done a little bit of research on Wikipedia so I know that they are a Ukrainian metalcore band and I know to expect some epic screams because you've all been telling me to check her out in the comments. Let's get into it. Is it a, a bass guitar? So obviously there's no screaming yet. I'm bracing myself for the screaming. I know it's probably gonna come soon. <laughs> First impressions are that she's got a beautiful voice. It's very warm and rich. There's like a little bit of grittiness there. It makes it a really distinct kind of characteristic in her voice. I'm not 100% sure of what the time signature is actually. It's kind of like unsettling. It's really hard to work out where the downbeat is, so where the, where the groove is. I'm really looking forward to seeing how she tackles those screams, but what I will say is it's really clean. Uh, it sounds like a really healthy sound, which sounds to me like it would be a really good foundation for a voice to be able to then sing and scream really easily. Because if you've got a healthy voice, you can do all of those things. So let's see. <laughs> Back into that unsettling time to Nico. me to watch this. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. What? That is insane. Like I think if you gave me the audio of this, I would have assumed, okay, she's bowed out, there's another guy there, he's stepping in and he's doing the thing. Because that is like so low. That is so low for a female voice. I need to see it again. Let's watch that again. Get, I've gotten the giggles out, I think, now. So I think I can now look at it again. She does have that vocal quality in her scream that does give the impression that, she, that she's a male, which isn't necessarily a bad thing at all. It's just actually kind of amazing that she can do that, that she's got that capability to switch between this really beautiful, almost ethereal quality at the start to this thing. <laughs> How does she do that? It's pretty phenomenal. What I'm also noticing, and again, I don't even have the lyrics here. I'm relying on the singer to use incredible diction for me to understand and I can understand even in her screams there was a line that she was like virgin innocence or something um, yeah 
know that. Virgin innocence. <laughs> I cannot do this. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure it out and I appreciate everyone sent amazing comments in to let me know who I should be checking out if I want to learn how to scream. And I have done quite a bit of research since I've gone down this rabbit hole because it's genuinely really interesting to me. What I will say about Tatiana is that she's obviously got incredible vocal health and great singing technique because she's been able to transition from that lovely sing into this scream so smoothly and so seamlessly. So if you don't know what you're doing with your singing or your speaking or even your screaming and you're recruiting all these unnecessary muscles to help make the sound, I'm probably going to lead to some dangerous vocal issues down the line if you keep doing that. It could lead to muscle tension dysphonia, for example. That's just a fancy medical term for a voice disorder where all of your muscles around your voice are tensed. Hey, hey, Christina, how's it going? Hey, that's the thing, right? That was a tangent. So t <laughs> Let's keep going. What also blows my mind, she's able to access so many different colours on this scream that has no pitch, no melody at all. <laughs> Went up high there. This part. Right, right, but not that. I can't do it. It's very cool. Let's keep going. I think it's gonna go into the metal again. So she, that second verse that she went into there was suddenly higher in her register. The timbre that she had sounded a bit like Britney Spears to me. Oh baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? Let, let me show you what I mean. I have a no promises. I... No promises. I... No promises, I will not give. There's something Britney about this voice here. So to make this clear, I'll show you what she did in verse one so you can hear the difference. It's quite huge, I think. This is verse one around here. Yeah, so it's lower. Step forward. And it sounds different. It doesn't sound as Britney. I can still hear a hint of Britney now that I've mentioned it, uh, but it's not as obvious. And I think it's because she's got a more open throat, so a more open space behind her lips here to make that sound a bit more round. Step forward. Whereas if she wanted to make it super Britney, kind of closing that space a little bit, Step forward, <laughs> something like that. Um, yeah, so she's, she's really clever. I kind of want to get the verses up to make sense of why she might be choosing these really, they're quite different tonal qualities from verse one to verse two. I am a kid. Hey, Brittany.
depiction on her screen. <laughs> Sorry, that bit. Let's listen. Cookies! <laughs> I want cookies! It just sounds. There's cookie monster things happening here too. And I say this out of love. Like, this. Tatiana is extraordinary. I just don't know how she's doing this. It's amazing. But this is kind of bringing me to like part of the journey that I've had in terms of trying to figure out how to scream. I've been thinking, because I like imitating things, of all the different singers and like voices that kind of do play on that use of either vocal fry or false vocal fold to get that character across. Marge Simpson, like, hiya, homie. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sort of thing. There's Louis Armstrong. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. That thing. <laughs> and then there's Christina Aguilera who loves to add a little bit of like <laughs> Can you hear this like it's not clean it's like There's stuff behind it at the start at the onset um, So these I think are my because I like imitating things these are my entry point into trying to figure out how to scream But let's uh, let's get back to the song Beautiful melody, actually. Really nice. deviation from the melody there. And just let's listen to that again. So there'd be some really interesting harmonic changes happening here. Strange, strange uh, chord progression there. Really cool. Don't every time this happens, it scares me. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, now she's just showing off. <laughs> That was a journey. I'm in a glass case of emotion. There's just so many feelings happening right now. Like part of me, out of shock, wants to continue to giggle at what I've just witnessed because it was um, extraordinary and unlike anything I've ever seen. And I didn't, know, I didn't know that a woman could make that sound. I actually did not know. Towards the end of the song, she just also randomly decided to access a lovely top belt. And it was really, really impressive. And then immediately, like almost straight away, she transitioned again into a scream. Oh, 
That. So that's an amazing belt. So she goes up to the top F, which is really quite hard. Like that's like where you're going to crack. It's really hard to do that without cracking. Um, and what you need to do is kind of like narrow things down. So rather than thinking of the sound going, then you're going to probably crack. But she's really, really amazing at like narrowing it down. So, see, so yeah, I nearly cracked. I haven't warmed up. But Tatiana, she knows what she's doing. Okay. I'm going to try and attempt this. I don't know what the words are. My shot! Screaming! So she's got like a re. She's got like a. She's flaring her nostrils. Ha! Let's give it a go. <laughs> okay. Gracious. No, see, look, I can't go that low. Gracious. <laughs> Gracious. Gracious. No, no, I think I might leave it to Tatiana, but hope is not lost for me. It's the beginning of my screaming journey and I still want to learn. So I'm going to spend time trying to figure it out. Come along with me on this journey while I learn how to figure out to scream. Uh, on the way, you'll see some fun reaction videos and possibly me doing imitations of the cookie monster, if that's your sort of thing. Please keep on sending uh, comments uh, and things about what you want to hear, what you're wanting to watch more of, because we do read all of them and they help us decide what we do next. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all those things, and we'll see you next time. Bye.